Earlier this week, I went to Goodwill to look at their clothing section. Even though I was looking for clothes, I ended up looking through the appliance section of Goodwill. And while I was looking through these aisles of messiness, I stumbled upon an as seen on TV product. Huh. There was this light that went into the middle of my head in this little bald spot actually, because that's where they could penetrate the most. And they brought in an idea. And the idea was to test as seen on TV products from Goodwill. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> As seen on TV, chip This one looks like it's in good condition. I'm proud of it. If I got this on Amazon and it showed up like this, I wouldn't think anything. It doesn't even look pre-used at all. This is actually very intriguing, I have to say. Like, I don't believe it. Like they look so good. Do you love crisp, salty potato chips, but hate those calories? It's Chip-tastic, the microwave potato chip maker. Just slice a potato, microwave for only three minutes. I love how they have the potato slicer too. Cause I was kind of worried. I'm like, I know like I have knives, but the fact that they already have that covered, this makes it that much more convenient. Some brands have 13 calories per chip. Chip-tastic is just three calories per chip. What? <laughs> We're gonna be so skinny after using this product. It seems like. <laughs> if this actually works though, like, I'm actually sold. Like, I want to invest in the company. Like, why doesn't everyone just use this? Wow, that's really good. Mmm, very crunchy. They're really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, these people are giving the charisma. Like, they seem like they're paid actors, but... Maybe they want the mouth for a whole day and they just cut out the bad ones. Like, if you had a mouth doing this, you could for sure get probably a dozen good reviews with any mm. product. For just $19.95, call now and we'll double your offer free. I hate when they do this. I know, <laughs> it's so annoying. If you don't agree they're delicious, send it back. But keep the Ronco slice of attic as our gift just for trying. Even though we didn't buy this, can we still send it back and get the money? If we don't like it? Um. Do you have any fears about this? Oh. That's kind of a buzzword. Make the potatoes become microplastic. <gasps> it would be like cancer causing. Yeah, I was just thinking of microplastics. And the other thing is that they said this cost $19.99, but at Goodwill it's only $5.99. <laughs> Good job getting a deal. Wait, so you actually hate yourself? No, I didn't say that. Time to make potato chips. Hell yeah! This actually seems like it hasn't even been opened. Like, I feel like whoever gave this back to Goodwill cleaned it. But I'm still gonna clean it, just in case. The chip slicer, the potato chip thing, and then this. There isn't any instructions in here, but what is that? I'm sure it should be simple. Oh, that's how you oh, grab onto you the tater. The tater. <laughs> isn't this kind of giving, like, wifey material? Someone wipe him up! Huffing <laughs> him up! Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh. We're just gonna be doing it with normal gusset to potatoes, but I know in the commercial you can do it with sweet potatoes and stuff. It's really versatile. Okay, this is easy. Wait, <gasps> this reminds me so much of being at the county fair and these fried with a bunch of cheese on top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I got. I think I got jammed. Yeah, I got jammed. That might not be the product's fault. That could just be my fault. Ew, what's it smell like? Um, I just got the smell of like Goodwill product. You know how Goodwill mm. has such a distinct smell? Yeah. Even though I did clean it with soap, it still has that smell. Beep, hate the world. You flip what, what? that thing. Oh, flip it. Oh, and then you just place them like this in there? Oh, it feels like what the theme park, and like I'm walking the theme park and I'm putting everyone in the little seat on the merry-go-round. Okay, oh, we're yeah, gonna stop. It does them. seem like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, this is cute. I know. <laughs> Should we just add like chicken seasoning? Okay. So we literally just place this in the microwave. But for how long? Remember they said three minutes on the commercial. Yeah, let's just do three minutes. Easy peasy. Stopped. And yes, for the entire three minutes, I'm gonna be staring at the microwave because I wanna see if something like magic happens. Like, is there like a split second where they turn crispy? How does it no, work? No, I'm excited to see this. We're never gonna see stuff like this. <laughs> oh, it's starting to get steamy in there. Oh. Need a little bit okay, longer. yeah, let's 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 give it like another minute. So the commercial did lie. I feel like it needs even like another three. Are they getting crispy? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. oh. Is it actually crispy? I think it is. 
Oh my God, these remind me so much. So back to the viewers, the Costco chips. I'm excited to dig into these. You know how usually when you cook microwave stuff, um, it's so hot? It's, these already feel like they're cool. Oh yeah, I'll try and make one first. Cheers. Cheers to the potato gods. Honestly good. They actually have like that fried effect of um being bought and stuff. How do they do that? Like it doesn't taste like a lace potato chip, but I actually like the taste of it. Like you said earlier, it reminds me of those things at the fair. Potato spirals, I think mm, they're called. So good. I love this. It does make me feel at ease knowing this is just a potato. The only ingredient is potato and microplastics. Probably better than lace. <laughs> These chicken ones, I am. I have high, high hopes. <laughs> I'm gonna do a stock for my first one. Are they actually sometimes gonna attach? So there's a little bit of drama. Mm. Mm. Chicken isn't the best seasoning, but yeah, it'd probably be better with like <laughs> ranch seasoning. seasoning. Yeah, I hundred percent want to have babies with this product, but as you can tell, we already finished it, mm. so it does go by fast. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe there's a way to make a bigger batch because you only used half a potato. Like I want you a whole potato with worth with with my burger, you know. I guess you'd have to just do it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might not be taken back to Goodwill. I'm maybe there is potential we might use it again. How do we not know about this? As seen on TV, Chocolate Factory. <laughs> now I am ecstatic about this one. The original Chocolate Factory. How have I heard about this? And it's the original. Like, when was this copyrighted is the real question. Um, 2005. Oh, there was definitely one before this, but maybe they actually are the original. Maybe no one thought about making one before, an at-home one. This one has a little bit more wear and tear. There's some mm. tape on the top. It kind of looks a little bit dusty. I'm grossed out thinking of what the bowl's gonna look like. I, I hope it's cleaned out. Just what have they cooked? And they could have cooked meth. It could be a meth bowl. Okay, now I don't even want to test it. You're, you're <sighs> ruining this whole video. I want it, it to be a fun and like fail you destiny. But now you're bringing <laughs> no, just, me back to reality that people gross. do do meth. <laughs> this product is actually popular because I visited another Goodwill and they had another ch original chocolate factory there. Is your dessert so- Wait, what's going on? <laughs> if I saw that at 3 a.m. waking up to go pee, I actually think I'd be so scared. <laughs> like I might call the police. Introducing the original Chocolate Factory, the fun, easy way to turn ordinary into extraordinary desserts. You have to admit, that's so satisfying. But I'm not really impressed because it's just a pot. Like, I already own a pot. What's the difference? Like, there has to be a catch, right? Regular pots burn chocolate. Oh. Chocolate Factory's double boiler is two pans in one. The bottom simmers water, while the top quickly melts chocolate into a smooth and creamy sensation. Yeah. Create teddy bears, seashells, lollipops, and more. The complete Chocolate Factory kit comes with everything you need, including this dipping dessert guide. Okay. We've heard enough. But I remember our sister told me a hack of how to cook chocolate without burning a pan. You get a pot of boiling water. Okay. Then you just get a bowl that's safe to be by boiling boiling water, like a glass bowl or something. You put that above the boiling water, oh. and then you can do it. But this does come with a like 92-piece chocolate making kit. I'm just I'm just trying to be cynical here and like just tell the yeah. truth. I actually have done that method you just explained in the DIY era of YouTube. That is why this is on a Goodwill shelf. It just isn't needed. Maybe back in the 90s it was, oh my gosh, but cooked chocolate in the microwave and it's fine. I don't hate myself. I just want to fix a few things about myself. Oh, okay. I was just confused. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Okay, this are, these are the molds. Honestly, don't really even look like they've been used. Oh yeah, and this isn't even opened. So maybe they didn't make meth at this after all. This is making me think that these, these people that donate to Goodwill are really nice. Like I'm I proud know. of the humanity around us. That literally hasn't been used. This hasn't even been opened, the little thing that you can squirt, you can fill things with this. Wait, is it just endless? What, how many pieces did they say? There's 92 pieces. Is that even true? How could there be 92 pieces? If you pieces? really counted, maybe there is. Here's the spoon. That seems like it would melt. Let's like get a strawberry and dip it. Oh, little thing. <laughs> We're gonna become chocolate tails today. What are the straws for? For sipping it? Oh, you can create like chocolate lollipops. Mmm. I don't even need to look at the instructions. Basically, we just put water in this one and chocolate in the top one. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna be doing some Hoshi's milk chocolate chips today. 
My goal in the next 30 minutes is to make the best chocolate in the world. Aww. Did you just break that thing mold? So if you look closely, you can see the chocolate starting to melt. It's becoming like glistening. Ooh, starting to sweat. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want, you can do it. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. <laughs> she inspired me. So I'm gonna get these little chocolate lollipops ready. Then I'm probably gonna sell on Etsy for like $30 each. The molds are a little bit beep, but like they aren't really, they could have made them a little more high quality, but. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hey, wait, is this burning? <gasps> oh, look at that. Gather around and look at the chocolate. This was fast. It only took like five minutes. We, we could use this tool, but I you know. I think that would add more it. drama, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You guys. <laughs> my pet snake that I had just died, so my best friend gave me some chocolate covered strawberries, and that's so nice of her. <laughs> that's a funny thing of having a pet snake, because don't, there's no way they love you back. <laughs> I love the chocolate pasta. <laughs> I have to do another dip. This might be my new breakfast thing. Like every morning when I wake up at eight, <laughs> I'll get the chocolate factory going oh, and dip good. everything in chocolate. That'd be a, such a good way to start your day. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, it's about to go in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate click off. <laughs> Beep. Love chocolate. Oh, you always forget. They give you this little squat bottle to do the molds, but I'm just gonna do it with the pot. Seems easy. Oh wait! Or would you be able to literally suck it up with that? Is that a thing? <gasps> Did I just realize something? Oh. <laughs> Does it not do it? <laughs> is it like just melting? Uh oh. Okay, I feel like we can't even talk because this is like this is serious. <laughs> We're also going to do molds of the American flag because we absolutely love America and of a bear because we absolutely love bears. Mm -hmm. Did you actually watch Winnie the Pooh growing up? No, yeah, that's one of those shows where somehow I knew about it when I was a kid, but I never watched it. Um, did anyone watch it? Was it like fake famous? Okay. <laughs> this part of the factory wasn't opened either. It's a big little like mold for, it looks like kind of a bunt cake chocolate thing. Let's make it though. I don't even know if we'll have enough chocolate, but you know. We can try. Okay, I don't think I can get any more, but we got halfway through at least. Part of the advertising for this product was the chocolate doesn't get stuck to the bottom and it's so easy to clean. So let's see if that's true. Okay, already, I don't know how, this pan is like super nonstick. Yep, it's coming off. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> this is enough footage for this clip. Yeah, it, it cleans good, goodly. Okay, let's take these out. We got our US flag. Even when it's not the 4th of July, you gotta be patriotic. <laughs> Suckers and the little teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared that it's gonna break, but I hope. <gasps> I mean, you can kind of tell it's an American flag. Oh, that looks exactly like the glam teddy, teddy bear. We're gonna give this to dad. <laughs> this is actually so adorable. Here you go, dad. Not for anything special. No, no, it's not your birthday. It's not Father's Day, but I know you love this country and I thought you could maybe put this, bring this to work and eat it this afternoon if you're wanting a little bit of something sweet. Thanks, son. Halloween treats one year for the neighbor kids. But the thing about it is no that no one's gonna eat them and say, those razor shavings in them, don't <laughs> eat them. <laughs> are they like demonic symbols? <laughs> <laughs> Actually though, what is it? Listen, mom, I know I do have a wife now, but I still love you. <laughs> so here's a chocolate heart. <laughs> this one looks like it just is gonna be a pile of beep. So who's someone that we hate that we should give this to? Mm. Oh, the guy who lives two miles down the road. Whenever we're on a walk, he's always saying, <laughs> we need some title jeans tomorrow. It's like, I don't, Get it. Yeah, then I'm wearing shorts and he says, are those shorts or underwear? And he asks every single day. How do you get this out? Actually, no. <laughs> Is the bun cake not, it's not working? Oh, <gasps> wait. wait. Another plastic thing came out. <laughs>
I'm just broke. Ew. Oh, it actually won't fit, so I need to break it even more. This is for you. We don't even know his name, but that wailed guy two miles down the street. <laughs> As, As seen, seen on, on TV, TV perfect, perfect omelette. Oh. I just love that girl and that guy. Oh my gosh, Powell couple. Are they dating? Um, yeah, though they have a sex tape online. <laughs> Wait, is he famous? Because why does he have a signature? I'm not gonna lie, the type of omelets that are shown, I don't really F with those. Like, that doesn't look good to me. When I was little, I remember going to hotels and people in our family would be like, this hotel has an omelet bar and everyone hyped it up in our family. So I was like, oh, it's so cool. But as an adult, I can finally form my own opinions. And I decided that I don't really get why everyone's obsessed with omelets. I know, so it's just <laughs> basically an egg scramble, but a different shape. Hotel breakfast, I wanna have like a sandwich, a quesadilla, pancakes, waffles, but like, this is just something you make at home. I remember I went through a stage where I always made eggs in the microwave. Oh, same. I did that like two years ago. It always wow. ruins the cup though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw away the cup each day. Hi, I'm Mick Hasty. That's the guy. Now, have you ever tried to flip an omelette? It's flipping impossible. Well, those days are over. This is my perfect omelette. Hey, when he opened that up, I'm just grossed out. <laughs> <laughs> Just pour in the eggs, add your favorite filling, and voila, you've got a perfectly folded omelet. This has nothing to do with the commercial, but doesn't the music kind of make you want to groove? Like, I feel like I'm in the breakfast club. <laughs> Giant four egg omelet with bacon and sausage for the man of the house. <laughs> You know the men need more. <laughs> they need a lot of food to keep them, yeah. Did they show the mom omelet? She'll have half and save the rest for tomorrow. <laughs> In less time than it takes you to get out of the pan and- I have to admit, that's real. No, I was just about to say that. Like, that's not an exaggeration. Everyone has a cabinet like that. Well, you open it, boom, everything explodes. Like, every time I open up my pot cabinet, I am in a bad mood. So it actually would be helpful for me to get one of these. It'd probably help my mental health. Clean up some breeze. Just run it under the faucet. Are you joking? Eggs Benedict, even brownies. What? I don't like how they threw in brownies. Like, stick to one thing. Like a cloud went over my brain and I don't understand what's even happening. I know, like it actually threw me so far off. I would, if I, were, if I was on the phone calling that number, I would've just hung up. I'd say, wait, it's also a brownie maker. This is too confusing. Even better, because I'm also gonna give you the amazing perfect chopper for free. Wait, is the rest of the commercial just gonna be a bunch? Yeah, I think the rest of the commercial is these other products that you get in with it, but I have a question. I'm assuming one, one person viewing this video knows. Buy in 10 minutes and we'll throw in this. This commercial is always ailing, so is that whole thing just a lie if you call and say, I saw the commercial, they're just throwing in? They don't have like a whole schedule on their little online calendar of each time it airs. Like that would just be too confusing. This gives such junk energy. The fact that they're gonna throw in all this extra Beep. shit, it, just, it gives the vibe that in one year when no one gives a shit about the perfect omelet, that's gonna be the throw in for the next product, you know? For sure. Please take it from us. Please. no one else is gonna buy it. So what do you even wanna change? Um, it's like four things that I'm thinking about changing about myself. Finally, it's come to the part of the video where we get to test Mick Hasty's big product. You guys all know he's my celebrity crush. I am just so proud of these donators at Goodwill. They leave it in such good quality. Like, what? None of it's been used. I'm confused. So this is a big manual with all these recipes. Wait. You get two? One for you, one for me. Ah! Remember in the commercial they said, you get a free um, perfect chopper? We got one of those. <laughs> oh my God, okay. we got all the deals. This has never been used. They make so many units that they're like, we're gonna be nice and donate it to charity or something like that. This is what I'm thinking. They made so many units. And then from what I know, sometimes once there's too many units and they haven't sold, they bring it to like a, or they sell it to a liquidation center, like those stores where everything's 50 cents, Amazon return store. Maybe once it's been there for six months and no one bought it, then they donate it. Just maybe? Maybe Mick Hasty. Like, I could see him just donating it and losing money because he just wants to be a good person. I see. So this is another odd scene on TV product. Should we test it? Chopped the potato. I was kind of hoping you would say you don't want to test it. But... Oh yeah, I don't have any vegetables. Oh, okay, yeah. So let's not test it, but that's cool. I gotta say, I really like the branding. Love the colors, everything about it. And... The sponge is turning brown from all the chocolate. Oh, we get some chocolate water. Chocolate omelet. <laughs> omelet. 
So before using the omelette thing, we have to beat eggs. <laughs> the one thing you can beat. Okay, you shouldn't, I don't get why you even want to beat anything. In the directions, you don't even have to spray this. That's pretty cool. So you put half on each side. Mm, that's actually perfect. <laughs> and then you just add your toppings. Since me and Lucas are very basic today, we're just gonna add some cheese and sriracha to the inside of the omelet. If we were like fully just going to a regular morning, there's no point of using this because all it is is cheese and eggs and sriracha. But I guess you don't have to use a stove, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's so easy in the microwave. <sighs> First of all, you cook it for a minute in the microwave. Boom! The microwaves are microwing. That's funny. <laughs> Stuff is happening in there. It like bloomed. Damn. Wow. Hey, Captain. Okay, why are we surprised that an egg's cooking in the microwave? <laughs> I actually was though. Um, we're, we're doing three eggs. The recipe said to do four eggs. Just move it around so like some of the raw eggs get to the corner and then cook it for another 30 seconds. Oh, wait. Oh. It's blooming. I in waffle why? Whoa, waffle house! So then the next direction was Is it is it is the camera on? Yes. The next direction is doing this. And cook it for another 30 seconds. <laughs> it doesn't even smell like eggs, it more smells like plastic. Okay, you can do it. Put it on the plate. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't be inhaling that. It actually does just smell like plastic. Whoa, wow, this is the omelet. And some of the cheese did get stuck to the product, but that's fine. I, I just keep thinking about what we said in the, when we were watching that commercial. What's the point of an omelet? This is just scrambled eggs with cheese and sriracha. Yeah, reminds me of Xenon the Zequel food. Oh, the actual omelet smells good though. No, yeah, honestly, that, that smells like something you get from like a Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks type place mm -hmm. for breakfast. This actually is what an omelet would look like from Waffle House. Now my precious tongue will be fine. I am gonna take a selfish bite. Now you gotta try the cheese. Uh -huh. Even though we used real egg, it tastes like fake egg. Yeah, I don't like eggs cooked that much. I like them more runny. So maybe we cooked it for too long, mm. even though we did follow the, the directions. But to be honest, it still tastes so good. Eggs, sriracha, and a little fake slab of cheese. That's the recipe for an amazing omelet. You added bacon or ham, next level. That's what the man of the house gets. Yeah. This probably will end up back at Goodwill, but I do like what the product is doing. Like, I actually think it's cool, I decided. Before moving on, I need to recreate that. And I'll be a bit hasty. Beautiful. Mm. Killed it. As seen on, say it with me. As seen on TV, perfect brownie, brownie set. pan set. Pan set. You should bring it in from your side to like switch it every now and then. Like oh, and then. keep it interesting for the viewers. Yeah. Oh, wait, this one actually is dusty. Ugh. Yeah, we need to be washing our hands after touching these products. I know. Like, she kind of just scares me. She gives dark energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not to be mean, like, but it is kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like this is actually just so stupid to me, but I want, I honestly, I'm still curious about it. And she... So basically the whole thing is you make brownies, but they're pre-cut. I don't think anyone's that annoyed cutting a brownie. I just don't really think that's a thing. <laughs> you cut, rip, and tear, but your brownies never turn out square. That happens, but I swear no one cares. Like, I don't, I don't, like, it's never been that big of an issue. These brownies do come out perfect, I'm ruining them. Oh, yeah. That... Nothing should be perfect. Now there's Perfect Brownie Pan, the new nonstick way to bake, slice, and serve perfect brownies. Oh, okay, so I didn't think about this. Since, since this is from, like, the 2000s, <sighs> isn't it kind of a new thing, pan being, pans being nonstick? So that's oh, probably a see. whole other thing about this. It's nonstick. Oh my god! That's true. How much that they made that little girl act like a sin. <laughs> like, who does that? The bottom and sides separate, so anytime it goes on this rack, Perfect Brownie becomes the sweetest party serving tray. Cool! I actually believe whoever invented this style of as seen on TV commercials got the idea from like extraterrestrial 
beings? Because how is it like actually so intriguing? Like just no. how those people said, cool. Like, it does make me just want to keep watching. I know, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was talking so much shit like 30 seconds ago, but I'm on board now. Like I didn't know what lowered, like it makes the whole platter for the brownies. Like I actually love it now. Delicious double fudge brownies at your very own bake sale. Cha-ching! Oh no, someone ate all the edges again. The solution? This patent pending design which bakes each brownie separately. So they're moist inside and chewy outside. <laughs> Okay, I like heard people say like, oh, I like this specific type of brownie, but maybe I just don't have high standards, but I've never been one of those types of people that's like, I only like the edges of the brownie, I only yeah. like the middle. I didn't know people <laughs> wanted the edges. Like I love the middle where it's all moist and stuff and like kind of not cooked. I like how it acted like you could start a business. Start a bake sale and it said cha-ching. Like <laughs> you're gonna make all this money from it. And usually when people do bake sales, it's for like a school and the money just goes to the school. Now stack them for ice cream sandwiches. Oh. Uh... They got me. Holidays, anniversaries, or barbecues. Just bake, slice, and serve without ever using a knife. Something was so funny about that pool clip because it gives the vibe of somebody made brownies and they just grab them and don't even say thanks. <laughs> they walked away so fast. For the amazing low price of just $19.95. This commercial could have had the ability, ability to end SSRIs because they make it seem like this whole brownie thing is gonna kill anyone's depression and stuff. Like there could have been a where if everyone saw this commercial and bought the product, no one would be on anxiety or depression meds. And I feel like it definitely did that for at least two people. And it's not just for brownies. Make fluffy cakes, awesome bar cookies, or grandma's apple pie squares. It just gets to a point where we've only been watching for a minute 30, and I'm just over it. I get what it's doing, so I don't need to watch the rest. Now I'm just hungry. I like that person. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everything that we got so far is priced at $19.99, but this is only $7.99. I've always kind of wondered, like, the people in the back of the good world just bullshit all these prices. Like, why yeah. was the other one? Yeah, one of them was $5.99. Like, it's just all bull beep. That would be a fun bull job, just beep. making up prices in the back. Okay, enough about you. Um, for my journey, I want to change the shape of my belly button. Wait, I've been insecure about my belly button my whole life, too. We should probably get, why did the energy just shift? I'm confused, was it because of me? Oh, I didn't feel it, it hasn't hit me yet. I felt like I was in like a dream state for a little bit. Oh, that, that does happen sometimes when you film in, especially in the kitchen for a while, that. Yeah, it feels like, I, I, I think this is what's happening. I got confused, like, wait, are me and Lucas like working for the local news store? Are we on QVC right now? It feels like I'm promoting <laughs> something. Preheat the oven, we preheat it to 325. So far, none of these have been used. This one looks so dusty. But me and Lucas were saying off camera earlier, couldn't you see in 2005, someone got gifted this for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They put it inside of their storage room. They haven't touched it. And then two years ago, they were like, I haven't used it. Let's donate it to Goodwill. Yeah, or they died and the family was going through all the shit and they were like, well, who gave them this brownie set? They never even used it. That wasn't even a good present. This this has been used though because there's no plastic. Oh my god, the first one that's truly used. Yeah, and it even has like those little things <gasps> where you can tell it's been like, like those washed. those little circles at the bottom. Uh-huh, where it's been washed before. Wait. This has been read through. They didn't talk about this in the commercial, or did they? The little molds? Yeah, they did. You just weren't paying attention. <gasps> this is gonna be us in an hour, but there'll be brownies. How, How do you do it? it? How do they do it in the commercial? Wait. Oh, think like this. Ah! I'm, I'm actually so excited about seeing the video experience this. Wait, I'm kind of thinking outside the box. If you had a really thick lasagna, ah, uh, right. you can make lasagna brownies with this. Just pour in your favorite batter, insert the dividers, and bake. Yeah, you insert this before they're cooking. Today at this time, we picked up some Supreme. I mean, I picked it up. I had to clarify that for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe for my ego or something. Supreme Walnut Brownie Mix. Why, okay, I haven't had a walnut brownie in so long, so I wanna treat myself today and try one of those. Beep. Love nuts. <laughs> I feel like that's good. Oh, it's like, why does everyone against me and trying to screw me over? I know. <laughs> Is there a reason why no one ever just does this all in a mixing cup? Cause like, I feel like we're saving dishes. Yeah, and I don't get, why would you use a mixing bowl if you can just use a mixing cup? It's like people want to do more work. It's stupid. 
cringy like memes that always say like, now that you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. I could just picture somebody making brownies for the first time as an adult and saying, what? I can eat all this right now. And just <laughs> eating it like that and not even making the brownies. Mm -hmm. This pan is non-stick, so we're just gonna put it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like we don't have enough brownie mix for these this pan. Like this is gonna be some thin brownies. They rise though, right? Since you bought it. <laughs> I'm finally an adult. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yeah, we just put it in the oven now. <laughs> How long? 30? Yeah, 30 minutes. Tastes a little bit like hibachi, I'm not kidding. Wait, why does it taste like a hibachi grill? It's on. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been on this whole time? Yeah, only 30 seconds, but yeah. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do the toothpick method to make sure it's actually done. Um, a, a little bit longer. I personally like them not as well done, but. Try just take them out. Yeah, cause I think then, you know what I mean? Off waiting, you know? Waiting is for loser. I know, it's so weird because I'm naturally an <laughs> impatient person and I genuinely like foods not done. So like, it all just goes hand in hand, it's weird. It's the big moment. Gonna bring the brownie tray over. Oh. Set it on top perfectly. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how come that didn't happen in the commercial? <laughs> Um, yeah. So, you can take this off now, I guess. But how do you do that, though? You have to, like, kind of push? I'm mad. Girl. Oh wait, if I lift this up, it's gonna ruin everything. Do we not push it in enough? Is that what the thing is? Like, oh, it, so it basic. Is. Oh wait, I'm just lost now. This, this, this lied to us? I keep reading the directions over <laughs> and over. You might just have to like, yeah, hold on to the brownie and lift up. Are you kidding? This is the most unsatisfying thing. Remember when we were saying, I can't wait for 30 minutes and we're doing this? Like it just lied. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I know. We're, it's not our fault. <laughs> no. I'm not going to be gaslighting. No, yeah, I'm not going to say wrong. you didn't watch the commercial right. I know we did it all right. God. My can you imagine bringing those out to the pool? Yeah, but I know my husband and kids would be yelling at me saying, oh my gosh, mom, you and everything. Yeah. Then the hubby would be thinking, I know Michelle in the office would do it right. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't even look good. I know, I, it does, uh, what? Since this is already green, I'm just gonna dig my hand in the middle. So Guys, it, it is non-stick though. It's not stuck to the bottom. But do we not cook it long enough? I mean, it feels done. <laughs> Honestly, not good. No, I don't think it was Buddy Crackle's fault. Or whoever made that box mix brownie, it was the product's fault. Mm. Something about this product has Bad, bad, demotic, demotic energy that ruins all the food that you make in it. Before it was cooked, it tastes like hibachi. Now it tastes like Thanksgiving. This is definitely getting brought back to Goodwill. And part of me does think I should throw it away because I don't want to make someone go through this, I but I, I am going to bring it to Goodwill so it's not wasted, I, know, I it's guess. funny because we had a cursed afternoon thanks to this and I'm not going to lie, it doesn't give me a little bit of satisfaction because no one's actually going to get hurt. But knowing that somebody else is going to have these hopes and it's going to get crushed. I know, they're going to lift it up <laughs> and realize. I know. Beep. I am happy that like they're going to feel pain too. It was also so hard to clean. As seen on TV, Cafe Uno. Uh, this is a one cup coffee maker and Lucas informed me a few minutes ago that uh, what is that? That one type of coffee is the most instant jank. Instant coffee? Instant coffee is the most jank coffee in the world. Yeah, fact check me, but I read that somewhere. This is like another version of instant coffee, but that's an interesting fact. I feel like a lot of people would use this. They only want one cup. I keep seeing these videos and articles. Why is the new generation so lonely? So you would think that something like this would do even better nowadays mm. because no one likes being around anyone except themselves and... Now, couldn't you picture that being the As Seen on TV commercial? You're part of the new generation. You aren't gonna get married, you don't have friends, and you don't see anyone because you work from home. So why would you need a coffee pot? It's like, get Cafe Uno. 
Like, I feel like that might be the commercial. This one's the most jankety one we've got so far. It's actually just open. It wasn't yeah. even closed when I got it. This kind of gives the vibe when I give something to Goodwill. Like, I don't know how to put it back in, so I kind of just give it like this. So you need two coffee makers, right? Not anymore. Now, there's one cafe. So I actually couldn't find the exact commercial for this product, oh. but this is like a very similar product, product. And I also am already not vibing with the commercial because it's too new. I like the ones that look so grainy and there's a buzz in the background. I was gonna say, this is very modern. Like, I love her kitchen. This is new. Simply insert your favorite coffee pod into the one cafe. Place it into the coffee maker. You can brew the perfect single cup of coffee. That's beep cool. <laughs> okay. It's crazy because it says asking on TV, but it didn't pop off enough because it's not on YouTube. I know, like no one re-uploaded this video. This was made in 2003. It smells good. I mean, it's like a Christmas scent ever since you had this near us. It actually isn't even that. There's a spirit came in or something. <laughs> We've had a whole five minute conversation about how we want to improve ourselves, but let's just try to love ourselves in the moment right now. Oh yeah, for sure. I actually found a course we can both do though that involves belly button sizes and it's $400 each per week for six weeks. I've been walking so hard and I'm so tired. Good thing we have this Cafe Uno coffee maker. Whoa! <laughs> it's a holiday. Oh, this looks really simple, actually. There's, there's an instruction manual. <laughs> there's like a hair in the corner. So yeah, it, it needs to be clean. So I spent the last 15 minutes looking at the directions, and then finally Lucas sat on the camera and I was like, okay, so I think you just do this. And <laughs> I, th I trust him. So you pour this in the back. Oh, this is gonna spill everywhere. What? <laughs> There was a hair in the water <laughs> thing. This shit just gross. <laughs> um, Lucas only has cold brew coffee, but it's the same thing. Yeah, apparently it's coarsely ground or something. Absolutely love this smell like coffee. Like, doesn't that actually smell like, like, ah! like, <laughs> I just, I'm quivering even I thinking know, it's about just it. good. And you move this, it just is like any other coffee pot. It's always the same. I have to seal this because I don't want to lose any of the freshness. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You plug it in, of course. <laughs> Does IOO mean on? <laughs> That's on, I think. Now the magic just happens, I guess. But yeah, you can hear something happening in there. Look at that water dribble through that coffee thing. This is beautiful. Whenever I use a Keurig throughout life, I always think, Ugh, I'm using so much plastic and it's ruining the world. This absolutely sucks. But with this, I am less guilty, you know? Yeah, and as you guys saw, I do cold brew now, so I know that Keurig is still there, but I don't support that lifestyle anymore. I just wanted to come, I just wanted to clarify. This is the vibe of like, when you're just going to the bathroom because there's nothing else to do. It's oh, like, yeah. Doo, 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 just a oh, this is when there's a line at the urinals. You can't get a heavy flow going because you have so much pee anxiety. I know, I yeah, peeing around others is weird. It's so weird because the only way I get through that is I'm thinking like angry thoughts. Like, thinking, wow, so, if, like you're peeing, so if you're peeing and you can't pee because like you're thinking everyone's waiting, like I think like angry thoughts, like beep, yeah, everyone, I'll go beep, and then I'll, I'll start peeing. It's so weird. Like, I don't know when I started doing that, but it, it works. My brain has thought about that before. I have memories of sometimes um, I get like anxious if I'm like, this sounds stupid, but just going to like an appointment for a dentist. And I've done that before, you said. I just think before I go, this is so dumb, but I think, I don't give a beep what anyone thinks. I'm just gonna be my beep self. Like, like basically <laughs> what I'm doing is rubbing my engine up. <laughs> Okay, is this how long hot coffee always takes? Cause I can. No, I am brew hot coffee like mostly every morning and it's way faster. It's one of those big coffee pots. This is pretty slow. <laughs> so I don't know if we didn't add enough coffee grounds, but it looks like straight water is just coming out. It's gonna be some weak brew, but it's still brown in the bottom. So I don't know. I mean, it's still doing the thing. Kind of sounds like an old man. Like I picture if I visited a grandpa in the hospital, this is what the throat sounds like. Oh yeah, last day. I think it might literally be done. Like literally. I think it literally is. So I'm gonna turn it off. Unplug it. Ah! What are the first impressions of the look? Even though I was hating that it looked like water was coming out, it looks dark. It's not like see-through or anything. 
Unpopular opinion. I don't get why people like burning hot coffee. Do you want to burn your tongue or something? Wait 10 minutes. One more sip and I'll give my detailed opinion. Tastes like good hot coffee. It does taste a little bit watered down, which makes sense because at the end it looked like water, hot water was just coming out. I don't really notice this with coffee that I have at home. There's like some coffee grounds at the bottom. I'm assuming if you're a coffee expert, that might be bad. All I can say is that if I visited this Goodwill first week of living alone and I stumbled upon this, there might be a chance that I would use it every day. I'm not like a coffee expert and I'm just fine. The only reason why I drink coffee is because it tastes good and also it gives me an energy boost. So I'd be fine with this. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a winner. Turns out you can get Asking on TV products for a severe discount at your local Goodwill. In Goodwill, I will rise. Oh my god, the spell actually worked.